bike life here. And I'm curious. This person turned left, so that means I can go over here. I'm curious. Why do you guys ride motorcycles? Why not be like every other cager in the world and ride a nice protected car with a roll cage to an extent inside of it? Why do you ride motorcycles? Is it because of the pleasure of riding? Is it because of the the economy advantages of riding? Is it because... But, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know all the reasons out there. But I'm curious to know why. I'll let you guys know why I ride a motorcycle on these back roads. Not on 195, but on the back roads we can ride the motorcycle. At least on the dirt bike, of course. Sorry, dirt bike. But... Why do you ride? Well... I ride... Because I was able to get a dirt bike. For real cheap. Because I was able to get a dirt bike for so cheap, Figure it, since I have it, I might as well learn how to ride it. And guess what? It's exactly what I did. I knew how to ride dirt bikes beforehand. I was maybe like 13, 14, and my dad had picked up a dirt bike. It was like an actual dirt bike, not an enduro. It was like an actual dirt bike. I think it was. I think it was a two-stroke. And I got to ride that through my neighborhood a bit but after a week or so people started noticing that we had a dirt bike and one night someone came and they stole it yep they stole my first dirt bike it was like my brother's so because of that I had a little bit of knowledge on how to ride I pretty much I pretty much had just learned how to ride that and then uh, they came and stole. So at least I got to learn how to ride. That was a cool thing. So I had a little bit of knowledge on how to ride. So when one of my friends had told me like, hey, I'm selling my Enduro. I'm moving to another place. I can't really bring the bike with me. I'm selling it. You're interested? At first, you know, I didn't have a motorcycle license. I never wanted a motorcycle license. But I was like, I'll think about it. The next day, I was like, I mean, I really can't pass this offer up. It's, it's, a, it's a cheap offer. It's a great bike. So I let him know, like, hey, I'm interested. Bring it to my house. I'll buy it. I'll give you a ride home. Brought it to my house. Uh, I think he brought it to my house on a Saturday. When Monday came around, when Monday came around, I went to the DMV, did the test, the written test here in New Jersey. You have to do a written test to get your permit, and then you have your permit for a minimum of 20 days. And then you can set up an appointment to take the actual physical test, the written, like the road test. Or, you can spend like 200 plus bucks, go to a Harley Davidson School or a Motorcycle Safety Foundation School, and you can learn how to ride a motorcycle that way and get your license in three days. So what I did was, I just went to the DMV, I took the written test, and I passed because I studied all weekend. I passed and then I just started learning how to ride by watching other moto vloggers, by going out on the road for the 20 days and seeing how people react to a motorcycle on the same road as them, and seeing how people act. 
with a motorcycle and how I'll act with a motorcycle. And, uh, yeah, after the 20 days, I scheduled the test. I rented a scooter to take the road test, because you're allowed to do that here in New Jersey. You rent the scooter. It was, uh, cost me 100 bucks to rent the scooter. And then the scooter I, I took the rating test with. So with 100 bucks, I had a nice small little 250, and I took the test on that. Past that, I got the road test all done, and I was able to get my license. I got my license, and then I started going out into the woods, because I had the Enduro. around the streets, you know, I didn't really want to go in the woods too much. So I went out to the woods a couple times. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. But then I realized my bike wasn't, you know, really made for the woods. So I... Instead of going to the woods anymore, I just started riding more on the street, riding more on the street. So I liked both aspects. I liked the aspect of riding in the woods, and I liked the aspect of riding you know, on the streets. So considering most cars, newer cars, are only getting about 30 miles to the gallon. So, that's another reason why I choose to ride a motorcycle and why I uh, have two now. Another, you know, another reason why I ride the motorcycle is because it's different. You know, it's a lot different than riding a car. A car you can if you have a nice car, you take it out on the weekend, you cruise around. On the motorcycle, you don't need a weekend. On a motorcycle, you want to go cruise around for a couple hours, kill some gas, you put five bucks in it to fill it all over again. You can do that without breaking the bank. I like that aspect about riding a motorcycle. I like, I like the community of riding, of riding motorcycles too. The people involved and the people that ride motorcycles and the Little vloggers on YouTube. I like that community. It's it's a fun community. So that's another reason why I'm into riding motorcycles. I like going places where a lot of people wouldn't go because they have a car. You know, that's probably another reason why people buy Jeeps so that they can go places that like cars can't. Most cars can't. You know, I like that aspect of it. I like how when you're on a motorcycle, people look at you differently too. I mean, I guess that could be a good thing or a bad thing because then people will look at you like, oh, you want to race because you're on a motorcycle? And then you're like, not really. So I like that aspect of it where like, little kids, you'll see little kids and they'll be so stoked that you're on like a motorcycle and they're over there riding a bicycle. And I think they have like a lot in common with you. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then, um, I like, uh, I like just the pleasure of being on the bike. The feeling of it is great. I don't ride it for economic. 
economic reasons. I don't ride it for work or commute reasons. I don't ride it because this area is so congested that you can only get around on a motorcycle. You know, I just like the feeling of being on two wheels, being able to be on a bike. I like the feeling of being the select crew of people on a bike. And I don't like, you know, I don't really like Harleys. I could really care less for Harleys because a lot of things associated with Harleys are like the motorcycle clubs, which I don't really care for, or the the um, like bike gangs and all that garbage. I can care less for all that stuff too. But I like dirt bikes. Dirt bikes are cool. Dirt bike people are cool. Archery range. I've never been to archery range. for a bunch of different reasons. Mostly pleasure, just cause it's, it's nice to be able to go out and just kick around a couple of trails and ride up and down the highways when you got a bigger bike. And sometimes it's just fun to, you know, just cruise around and enjoy the wind in your, in your hands and the wind all by your face. And, Enjoy the day, get a nice, some nice color if you're not wearing long sleeves like I am today. But I want to know why you guys ride. Give me some feedback on why you guys ride and, you know, what's your reasons for riding and how long you've been riding. I've only been riding for about a little over a year. So, you know, how long you've been riding, what kind of bikes you have, why you've selected those bikes. Maybe we can get like a little open discussion going about all this stuff. I had no idea that this trail goes all the way down this way. This is cool. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Leave me feedback, comments, all that. NJ Bike Life. See you guys later.